Hi, hello, and welcome back to another Skyblock video. My name is Osas, and today I have a brand new money-making method for you that can and will make you millions of coins an hour. To be honest with you, this is one of the best money-making strategies I have ever done, and I highly recommend you doing this after watching the video. So, without further ado, let's jump right in. So a couple days ago, I was watching a video by a guy named Toad Star Zero, and in his video, he bought Enchanted Rotten Flesh, made zombie swords out of it, and resold them for profit. Naturally, I wanted to try out this strategy myself, but when I went to go check the price of zombie swords, the price had unfortunately dropped drastically, so I could no longer make money from turning Enchanted Rotten Flesh into zombie swords. But this did lend itself to a new, even more profitable money-making strat, and that is what I will be showing you today. Hey, uh, quick reminder here. If you like watching these kinds of videos and would like to see more things like it, then I highly recommend subscribing and or liking the video. It makes me happy, so go do that. And what is this new, even better money-making strategy, you, you may ask? Well, the answer to that is making ornate zombie swords. Now, as many of you know, the ornate zombie sword is the upgraded version of the normal zombie sword, and in order to craft it, what you need is golden powder. Golden powders go for about 300k right now, and I'm going to buy one for the purposes of this video. So that's 300k minus profit so far. The next thing that you need to craft the ornate zombie sword is an enchanted gold block, so let's go ahead and buy one of those right now. And the final thing is, of course, a zombie sword, because you need to upgrade it. So let's go ahead and get one of those right now. These three items in total cost just around 700k. Maybe 800k, because this thing costs 400k, this thing costs 100k, and this thing costs 300k. So, yeah, about 800k. Now, if we were to go ahead and look at the price of what the Ornate Zombie Sword is, you can see that the lowest bin price of Ornate Zombie Sword is 950k right now, but you could probably put one up for 1 mil. So, now what I'm going to do is craft the Ornate Zombie Sword. You put the Zombie Sword at the bottom, the Enchanted Gold Block at the top, and the golden powder in the middle, and you craft yourself an ornate zombie sword. I'm gonna pick that up, and I'm going to sell it for just about 1 million coins. I'm gonna put it up for two days. I always put things up on auction for two days, just so that there's a higher chance of it being bought. Now, as you can see, I actually have two of these, because I made another one earlier and I put it up for auction. But in total, these two zombie swords cost just around 1.6 mil to make, and when they both sell, that's 2 mil. 400k profit right there, and that took just about 5 minutes. If you kept on doing this over and over and over again, let's say you make one ornate zombie sword every 5 minutes. That's 12 ornate zombie swords that you can make, and 12 ornate zombie swords with a profit of 2 200k each is 2.4 mil. Now 2.4, yeah, 2.4 mil, that's kind of really good for one hour of work. However, an item that costs 1 mil, not as many of them are going to be sold as other things. Because the higher price the item is, the less people that are able to afford it. So you cannot oversaturate the market or else you will begin to lose money. So, I would actually not recommend doing this for an entire hour because you will probably oversaturate the market. Now, what's so good about the zombie sword or ornate or zombie sword, you may ask? Well, the thing about the zombie sword... It's not as damage, but it's healing. See, I'm on kind of low health right now, and both zombie swords have a certain amount of charges, and each charge heals a certain amount of health. Now, if each charge heals just about 250 health, that means five charges will heal 1,250 health, which is kind of really good. Because it can get you out of a lot of tight situations, such as fighting a lost adventurer, for example, like right, I, like I am right now. Oh, I hate that these things can pathfind. So essentially, what this zombie sword and ornate zombie sword give you is just a huge boost to your health in exchange for mana. And as a mage, mana, especially only 70, really isn't that much if you're not even spamming it. 
so especially for maze, but also for the other classes, the zombie sword is just a really, really good thing to go for. And because the zombie sword is a great thing to go for, many people want it. And because many people want it, the price goes up. And of course, when the price goes up, money is made. So what I recommend doing is doing two or three of them every day or so, and that just gives you an extra 600k profit every day. I, there's no really real con I can see to this strategy. And with that out of the way, I have nothing more to say. See ya.